Hey, next time you feel stuck and you feel like, man, I got trapped or I got, I got tricked by something, uh, you know, I, maybe, maybe you know what God wants you to do, but you're just kind of like, man, I can't get past this or whatever. I want you to think about uh, a, a monkey. Okay. I know that's weird. Stick with me. Uh, and I've read a couple of places on online where there's, there's actually, you know, some hunters in, um, in Africa and other places in the world. Um, and, and the monkeys would love these. There's certain nuts or, or there's fruit that they like. And so what the hunters will do is get a gourd uh, or some sort of jar and they'll kind of attach it to something and, or weigh it down really good. And they'll make a hole in it or, or if it's a jar, it has a small hole big enough for the monkey to put his little, little hand in there, his little paw in there. But then once he grabs onto whatever that food item that he really wants, man, and, and they try to make sure it's something that, that they can't resist. Uh, so what, so what, that, what that dude will do is he'll, he'll put his little hand in there and there's enough room for him to get it in there. But then once he puts his hand, notice that the hand gets bigger uh, as he uh, grabs on to whatever that is, that food. And then he can't, now he can't get it out. Like it's stuck. And, and he will not let go of whatever that, that nut or that, um, or that fruit because he wants it. And, and, but he can't fit his hand back through the hole, right? The, 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 it, it, and he gets trapped. The, the hunter comes and he's over. It's game over. And sometimes we think, well, what would keep me from God's kingdom? Well, sometimes we get, we get trapped that way. We get, we, there's things that entice us and we go in and, and, we, and we won't let go. We won't put it down. These things in this world, these things that we think are so important. And God's saying, God's saying no, it's, it's dangerous to hold on to that hold on to some of the things that we hold on to. So let's look at Matthew chapter 19. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, verse 24 of Matthew 19. And Jesus says this, he says, again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Right? There was a rich young man who had gone up to him and said, what, what, what good deed do I need, need to do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, well, what about the commandments? He's like, I I've done those. And he's like, well, if you, if you want to get in, listen, and I think what Jesus is saying, he goes, if you want to get in on your own merits, so if, if it's all about your deed and what deed you think will work it, well, for one thing, you can't. It's impossible. But his, this, man, this young man's wealth was his God. He says, you get rid of all of that and follow me. The emphasis on follow me and the man went away. He was sorrowful. He had so many things, so many possessions. And the problem was that, that it wasn't so much in the things um, because he could have given them to people and helped people. He could have done a whole lot of, of, of things with that. It's not, the problem is not the money. It's not the dollar signs and all of that. It's that they possess us. That's the problem. Right? You can have possessions and use them to help people. You could have a house that you regularly, right, or houses and, and you rent them out for, for, for little or nothing or you, you know, whatever it is. And you, or you're giving, you're helping, you're giving of your time and all those things. And you're not holding on to what you have. It's not all about getting more of it, but it's about, okay, what can I do? Who can I help with this? Whose life can I change? How can I let people know about the goodness and generosity of God through what I do and through how I give? Do you see? It's an opportunity. But if, it, if, but if those things possess me, then, then they become my God. They become the, that thing that gives me my identity. It gives me my purpose. It's the thing I can't live without. And, and so the thought of losing any of that or, or, or loosening my hold on it even is just gonna, gonna be bad. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt me spiritually. And Jesus said, ultimately, it, it, it could lead to you getting further and further and further and further and further away from God. So right now, let's look at all the things we have and not just the money that we have. It could be other things. It could be our, our position, our rep, you know, maybe it's our reputation in business or whatever it is or at school. Uh, we want to be cool like everybody else. He's like, you know what, if it's standing between you and God and your relationship with God, you know, God is worth it. The thing is not. Uh, and, it's, and a lot of times it's a, it's a matter of just getting perspective about that thing and saying, you know what, yeah, these things have become they have begun to possess me, uh, my possessions, my relationships. All those things have become, become my God, and they've become the thing that, that owns me and guides me, and, and i got to get rid of that. Change your mind. Repent and say, all right, God, I want to go with what, how you see the things in my life. I want to I follow you. 
That's what this all boils down to. That's your follow through is to follow him in all that you do and all that you say. Like your life, is that's your goal in life. Following him, worshiping him, loving him, knowing who he is, that he died for you, that he rose for you. He's given his life to give you life and hope and peace, all right? And so again, another part of this follow through is share this with someone that needs to hear it. Share this video. If not, share, just share the message. Send someone a note, send them a text, man. Hey, God loves you, right? He, he cares about you. It'll make a huge difference, all right? So I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through. We'll talk to you next time as we get into God's Word and follow through on it. See you then.